I'm going to do a quick video update on the OpenTshirts.org project, free open source web design t-shirt system that you can plug into your website and let your clients design and order t-shirts directly through your website. We're on target for our 1st of January 2012 release. However, I have to admit, due to some licensing issues and working through legal issues, which are a little bit more detailed than I thought, we might be a little bit delayed just getting all of our licensing order. We want to be able to protect ourselves, protect our project and protect our work even though we are a free open source system. First thing I want to do is take a look at setting up designs here. Very easy to do. We've tried to build this as a very easy to use system so that those of you that are in the small shops to medium shops, you can add this to your site and your clients can very easily create and order designs online. Keeping it very simple but yet very nice. I'm going to go to select product here. That'll load. I'm going to go over here. I'll go with the v-neck. We'll let that load. Now you'll notice what will come up is like a docker here that has the product and the print areas and you can customize all these print areas in the actual product library and we'll get into that here in just a minute in the admin section of the website. First thing we'll do is go with a full front here and we'll add some clip art and I think what I'll do is we'll just do a basic football design maybe we'll do Rams football. I'll bring this Ram in and go ahead and click this mascot and he'll come in here and I'll see you'll see that he comes in automatically as a one color but we'll go to a two color on him or a full color and now we can see we're working with four different colors. And I might want to bring that down to just say two colors. And I can do that simply I'll go to my gray here, my brown, excuse me, and change that to a black. But I'm still going to get my shading now I'm down to three colors. I can take this and let's say we change this to a white. And now we've got a nice two color, but we still got the shading of what would look like a full color RAM design. One thing I do want to let you know is that the clip art that is available in the system is not open source free clip art. We'll have the clip art available for a purchase to go into the system, but we're not doing all of the art that we've created. We've got several thousand pieces of clip art here in the system. We're not going to give that away for free with the open source system. The system itself is an open source free system, but for content and web design and templates and stuff like that, you'll have to purchase that or you'll have to set it up yourself. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So we've got this RAMs here. And I guess what I might want to do is bring this RAM over here and I might want to add some more clip art. So I'll come in here and I'll go into my categories and I'll come down into let's say sports and I'll go to football. And I might want to have this set up that I'm going to have the Rams football and I'll just bring in a standard football graphic here. And I can bring that in and load that. And this comes in as a one color. We're going to go to a two color as you can see there and I could bring this here and you can take it and I'm going to go ahead and say I'll rotate this kind of to be like that off the one side there with the Rams football. I can hold down my shift key also and select both objects and move them together as you can see there. Next thing I'm going to do is add some text. So I'll add some text and we'll go ahead and we'll call this right up here. We'll move this here. Now change my text. I've got to come over here to text. I'm just going to type in Rams as you can see here and then I'll come in here. Very easy to work with this system so you'll be able to compete with the big online design providers like Custom Ink and Blue Cotton and all those very easily, very cost effectively and drive your customers to your website for their designs. Now we've got RAM set up here. I'm going to put an outline on this. We'll make this visible and I'll go ahead and select the white for that. So I've got a nice white outline for my RAMs football. Now I've got a total of three colors used and for this particular site we're set up so we can only work with four colors and we'll see how that works in just a minute. So I've got RAM set up there. I think I want to go ahead and arch that just a little bit and maybe I'll come down here and slide that back to a little bit less there and then we can bring this up and make it even bigger. So now we've got this Rams here up the top of the football and the Rams head and I might want to send that to the back of the page and I can do that very easily here to back. We'll send that to the back and now we've got Rams set up right there. Now if I want to add football because I've got the football here down at the bottom I can do that or if I wanted to do something a little bit different with the Rams Let's say I wanted to do the Rams as straight. I could go ahead and bring this back to zero. That'll get rid of that effect. I could bring the Rams back up here to the front. Go ahead and click here and bring this to front. And then take my Rams and rotate it, maybe something like this, so that it's going in a different direction in the design like that. You know, you can do a number of different things with these. Okay, so we've got our Rams set up here with the football going on like that. Maybe I want to add some effects to this or some objects or some ornaments. So I'll go down here and go into my clip out again. And I want to go into ornament, as you can see here. 
and I might want to do an ornament that's going to look up and show more results and scroll down show more results and scroll down and I think I'll go with something like this ornament right here we'll bring this in and then I'll click on this and I'll resize this and we'll go ahead and make sure we got that selected not the RAM and just bring this down here come down here and click to back now we've got four colors in the design now if I want to get pricing on this I'm going to bring this flourish and kind of shape it over here a little bit like that right there just so it's got some flourish going down there now if I've got a four color design here actually I've got a light gray I've got a white black and a yellow and if I want to get a total let's say I want to order of my larges here let's say I want to order 45 large shirts and I recalculate I'm gonna get an order that I've exceeded the maximum number of colors for use for this particular shop because we set this up for small shops or medium shops, so you can set the number of colors. And if you've only got a four color press in your shop, obviously you don't want people designing things more than four colors. So, and you'll notice that you'll get, you have exceeded the maximum number of colors to use. So you're not gonna get a printing price down here because you've got too many colors. And we've set this up so that small shops that have just four color presses can use this system on their website and have control over how many colors people are designing with when they're ordering. So what you'll need to do then at that point is go back and reduce the number of colors in the design. So the way that we'll do that, we'll just simply come over here to our colors. You can see I get a light gray. And that light gray, I believe that's set up over here in this RAM, so I'll double click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and close here, come over here, and I can see that I've got a light gray here, and I'll change that to a white. And now I've got three colors. If I go back here and now I click recalculate, I'll get my printing price and my garment price together. So we can do this with printing and printing colors combining the price, so you got 45 garments at a total of $441. So that's how the pricing works in the shopping cart. Now once that's set there, take a look at, maybe we we'll want to take a look at how we design on the back of the gar garment. Right there if we want to, we can click there and we'll get to the back. And you'll notice if I go back to the front, my design is still there. So this is pretty much all wrapped up. Now in the admin, I want to go ahead and take a look at how this is all set up. We go back here to the admin, and we come over here to our V-neck shirt, and you can see we've got all of our art entered in here. We've got design ideas, which we're building out the libraries for design ideas and templates that can be preloaded in the system. You've got your orders, which is not completed yet. And we've got our products here. We can go to list all products. All of this is very easy to use. We've got printing prices. And you'll notice here that you can take your colors here, color one, color two, color three, color four, make your own quantities and then enter pricing based on the quantities yourself and if you want to go up further to say from 32 to 64 you can enter that in enter it and then save your pricing so you can see how very easy the system is to use You've got fonts here and you can add and upload your own fonts as you can see here and we've got settings which you can upload some different things here and we've also got users which are the back end users or the people that are registered on your site. Now I'm gonna go back here to the products and I wanna take a look at how we set up a product. I'm gonna list all products. I'll come here to the V-neck and once you've brought a product in, you set up your images and your thumbnails and everything. You can go to view, manage views and regions and you can edit that and you can set up your printing area for the particular garment. Let this load here, right here. And you can see that once you've set up this printing area, you can actually move it around and adjust it, but we'll set this up to go right in the center. And it's the same here for the sleeves down here on the bottom. And what you see here is you see the background of the image where the color changes and the shading that's over it. So a very easy to use system, both from the admin and the front end, set up as a free open source solution for the screen printing industry, also for the direct directed garment industry. And if you're working in the dark directed garment industry, all you need to do is just not have any printing price to set up, you just set up one flat price or you can go ahead and set it up as a flat price depending on numbers if you do want to do some number breaks. So this is just an update on the system. We are on target for a first of the year release and you can watch for this on opentshirts.org and we'll see you in our next video.